The following program is sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith and on today's show, well, we're looking at a revolutionary metal roofing product. We'll begin out at our project where Joe Conacher from Edco Products explains why these homeowners are replacing their asphalt roof with metal shingles. Next, we'll visit the Edco Manufacturing Facility in Hopkins, Minnesota to see how these state-of-the-art products are made. And we'll finish up with the installation process and learn why these homeowners will never need to worry about replacing their roof again. So we have a lot to cover today, and we'll get started after these messages. I'm Lauren Miller with Miller Custom Exteriors and ABC Seamless, and I'm here today with Joe Hostetler and his crew. When we're out here, we like to treat every house like it was our own. My guys like to install this better than any other roofing we have. I'm comfortable with my guys. They do a great job. A lot of people, they wonder why we tear off the shingles. We fix everything as we go because if we put a permanent roof on, we don't want to have anything underneath that is faulty. You won't be back to replace any of these roofs, I don't think. No, right? I don't think so. I'm Lauren Miller with Miller Custom Exteriors and we're standing here at Mennonite Mutual Insurance and looking at the new Generations HD Metal Roofing. This is a brand new product with a high definition paint system and a Kynar finish. It's Energy Star rated. You'll get the benefits of cooling in the summertime with the reflective paint coatings and of course you get the great look that you see here on the roof that we finished up. The color will maintain throughout the 40 to 50 year life term. You won't have to touch it. It's maintenance free. It's the last roof you'll ever have to buy. Most of us don't like the thought of replacing the roof on our homes. After all, it can be an arduous task selecting the products and finding the right contractor. So wouldn't it be great if there were a roofing product that not only looked pleasing, but lasted forever? Well now there is, and it's made right here in Minnesota. So let's begin today's show with Joe Conacher from Edco Products, who introduces our project and explains the benefits of their metal shingle. Well, Joe, the guys are well on their way on this re-roofing project, and I tell you, if I was a roofer, this is the day I dream about for replacing a roof. How fortunate are they, Stu? A day that's, what, low 70s, but very little wind. What a day to put product on. Okay, well, on today's show, yeah, we want to use this as the backdrop, but really we want to focus in on the selection process and the product itself that these homeowners opted for. Sure. Well, this home was built in 1984. It was purchased a couple years ago by a young couple that I soon realized that the asphalt roof was in need of replacement. And I've got a couple samples of the asphalt roof shingles that were taken oh, off here. Look at all this and you is... can see where they're, they're losing some of the granules, they've got some cracking that's going on, the corners are starting to break off or turn up. And the, the one underneath it here actually has some moss that's collected on it and, and turned the color of it and really affecting the appearance of the overall job. Yeah, and the quality of the shingle. I mean, look at that. There's lichen on there and moss. So uh, obviously these were nearing the end of the life expectancy. And what I like to hear is that these homeowners were attentive enough to listen to their roof talking to them and they didn't wait until it was leaking to actually re-roof. Yeah, absolutely. And they spent a lot of time researching what they wanted to replace it with. Then they selected the Edco. Aeroline Enhanced Steel Shingle Shake. And here we have a sample of it right here. And this actually is a metal shake. So I assume there's going to be fantastic longevity. Oh, no question about it. This is a lifetime product. We call it the forever roof. And we back it up with a warranty for lifetime for the owner's material and labor. So they don't material ever have to worry about it. And labor. And I always say, you build a home from the ground up, but you protect it from the roof down. Here in the upper Midwest, we get a lot of big storms, a lot of hail damage. Do they have to worry about hail with a product nope, like Nope, we this? even cover the hail in the warranties. So we've got just about everything that you could think of covered in here, and they can put this roof on and never worry about it again. And if I live in an older house, or even a house that is only about 20 years old, but I need a new roof, that sometimes can be an arduous task of finding a roof or re-roofing and going through that process. But you do it once with the right 
product, you're never going to have to worry about it again? Yeah, no question about it. In the, this couple, they spent a lot of time researching this, much of it on the internet, before they selected our product. You know, Joe, I'm very familiar with metal roofing products and all their benefits, but I haven't seen one that looks this authentic. I mean, this to me is beautiful from an aesthetic standpoint. Well, for many years, all we really had to offer were standing seam vertical roofs and some rib panels that would go on the homes, and they really didn't look residential. So 10, 15 years ago, we started developing a product like this that has that residential shake look, and that's one of the reasons why metal roofing in just 10, 15 years has gone from 3% of the roofing market nationally up to about 12 to 14%. Yeah, well, that to me makes a lot of sense and a lot of it's because you got to give credit to the homeowners they're taking the time to become educated to get your best value no matter what the product is you're looking at for your home if you're an educated consumer oh absolutely and this couple in their process for selection here there were a lot of things that they really liked about this type of a product number one was the appearance though they had to have a product that they were satisfied with that would really fit into their neighborhood so that was number one they wanted value they didn't want a product that they were going to put on and have to replace in 10, 15 years down the road. They've got that in both cases here. Uh, they were concerned about the environment. Uh, they're a young couple, as I mentioned earlier, and they don't want to be filling up the landfills with shingles they're going to have to be replaced another 10 to 15 years down the road and maybe another 10 to 15 years down the road after that. Well, those so, are all key points. All homeowners should take into consideration. And then what about Energy Star? You know, of late, I've heard where some roofing products actually get an Energy Star rating. How can you give an energy rating to something like a shingle? Well, first of all, all of our products are Energy Star approved. We use cool roof technology in our coatings. It's a Kynar coating. It's blended in there. It adds to the reflectivity of the coating and that will greatly minimize their cooling costs in the summertime. And so it's actually not only an investment from a roof keeping the water out, but you're gonna get a payback on it because of the energy savings alone. This will pay year in and year out. It's truly a great value. How do you get it to look so authentic? These shadow lines in here are awesome. Well, that's quite a process that we have developed to do this. There's not another line in the country like this, and when we go back to the plant, we'll have an opportunity to show you exactly how we do it, Stu. Well, I can't wait to see that process, so what do you say we head on over to your facility, and we'll pick up this project a little later in the show. Doors always open. And we'll do that next, when we continue with today's Home Remodeler. This is a new generations panel from ABC Roofing and Miller Custom Exteriors and you can see the high def uh, color definition with it. It's a Kynar paint finish, has two coats of clear coat on it to protect the finish. This is installed with a clip system, hidden fastener system, screws, interlocks on all four sides to withstand up to 160 mile per hour winds. We also have solid colors, enhanced colors, a slate profile. It looks great especially on the historic older homes trying to replicate that slate look. I'm Lauren Miller with Miller Custom Exteriors and ABC Seamless, and I'm here today with Joe Hostetler and his crew. When we're out here, we like to treat every house like it was our own. My guys like to install this better than any other roofing we have. I'm comfortable with my guys. They do a great job. A lot of people, they wonder why we tear off the shingles. We fix everything as we go because if we put a permanent roof on, we don't want to have anything underneath that is faulty. You won't be back to replace any of these roofs, I don't think. No, right? I don't think so. In our last segment, we learned what makes the Edco metal shingle and slate panels a wise choice and why these homeowners will never have to replace their roof again. Now let's continue with Joe Conacher from Edco Products, who takes us through their state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Hopkins, Minnesota. Wow, Joe, this is a very impressive manufacturing facility. Looks like you're moving a lot of product through here. Well, we sure tried to anyway. This is essentially where the manufacturing process begins, Stu. We start with their aluminum or steel coil coming from domestic mills. We'll bring it in here and we'll run it through this coil coating line that we have. And we have 720 foot of coil in this line at one time. That sounds like an awful lot of material. It is being moved through here, 720 feet. How long does it take that to go through to complete well, the process? We're running at about 200 foot a minute, so it takes uh, roughly about three and a half uh, minutes to get it through. But we're doing a lot to the coil as it goes through here. Sure, now is it just the roofing 
side of Edco that is done in this facility? No, really, we do all of our products here, whether it's our siding, whether it's our soften and fascia or our guttering material, it's all essentially being run through this line or our other line that we have down in uh, New Carlisle, Indiana. Okay, so it all starts here or there, but with the raw material, which looks like it arrives in coil stock form? Right, we bring it in and semi loads into our plant in New Carlisle, Indiana, 40,000 pounds at a time. There it is slit to the proper width, and then it's ready to go and start the manufacturing process. You mentioned it's aluminum or galvanized steel? Yes, it is. We have those two substrates that we work with. And those ensure good longevity corrosion resistance? Oh, absolutely. Well, the aluminum pretty much speaks for itself. With the steel, we put a heavy G90 coating of galvanization on it for protection. Good. Great longevity. That's what we're all looking for in the end result. Let's quickly walk through the manufacturing process and how it all begins. Okay. It's loaded at the far end, then we'll run it through the cleaning process where we're cleaning it at high temperature so we make sure that we have all of the oily solutions off of it, which normally comes with aluminum or steel just to protect it. Uh, that seems to me that that would be a very important aspect of it, getting it clean, because after all, you're applying a coating on top of that. The adhesion is only as good as the cleaning itself. Everything we do here is important, Stu. This is a lifetime product. We expect these to last forever. So the cleaning is extremely important. From there, we put on a product we call Bondarite, and that acts as a preservative and also gives us good adhesion. We bake on the finishers later on. So when you say that actually is a preservative coating. Since you're using galvanized steel or aluminum, why do you need that additional protection? Just additional protection. Again, these products are for a lifetime, and we want to make sure that we're doing everything possible to ensure that that's going to happen. I like that. So you're not resting on the reputation of the raw material. You're taking it one step further to, again, ensure good longevity. Absolutely. Okay, so I can see some of that process taking place as it goes here. Then it goes up to the ceiling and into the coating room. Let's go take a look at how that process works. Okay. Well, Stu, we're about halfway through the coil coating process now. The coil has been cleaned and prepped, and now we're up here in the primer room where we're applying the prime coat, and from there it goes through a series of infrared ovens, then down below where the finished coat is put on. If you like, I'll take you down there and show you. Yeah, I'd love to see it. I'm amazed at all that heat coming off of there. Well, it has to be baked on thoroughly before we can put the top coat on. our coating room and today we're applying a PVC coating called plastic red. This will ultimately end up in our steel siding product line but we do more than just paint the PVC coatings for the steel siding here. We paint all the various coatings. I think we're totaling about a hundred colors over four different types of finishes. Wow and what amazes me most about this whole facility is all the automation. That must be the key to the success. Well certainly good equipment is important but what really makes it work is the employees that we have here. We have years of experience behind us. Somehow they tie it all together and they make it work and our product passes our rigid quality control standards. Now you mentioned this is the siding line, but this isn't the shape that we're all familiar with. How is that fabricated? Once we've got the top coat applied, Stu, we'll run it through our gas-fired ovens at a temperature of approximately 500 plus degrees. We then cool it down, we'll roll it back up, and it's ready to go upstairs into production. If you like, we go up there and take a look at it now. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Still, we have here a roll of steel coil that's been painted in our coil coating line. This one happens to be a sand beige. When we were down there earlier, we saw a classic red being coated. But this is now ready to go on to our double four siding line. We have five different lines in-house, each doing a different profile. Okay, just out of curiosity, how much does one of these coils weigh? Well, one of these coils weighs approximately 3,000 pounds, so there'd be about 3,000 square foot of siding in there. Wow, that's cool. So how does it go from coil stock 
to the end product. Okay, we've loaded it on what we call an unwinder. Then we'll run it through the embosser. This is our timber grain embosser I mentioned earlier. That puts the texturing in it. After that's done, we'll run it through a conditioner or a leveler, if you will, and that makes the metal dead flat before it goes through the roll coating process. And I bet that leveler is extremely important because you want the end product to be perfectly flat. Ultimately, it'll lay nicer on the side of the structure. Yeah, absolutely. You want a dead flat panel when you put it on. This enables us to do that. Okay, now, how does it ultimately take shape? Well, still, you can see here, we're gradually forming the product. Each one of these is what we call a station, and it'll bend the product approximately 15 degrees. Oh, I like that. Why don't you do it all with just one or two rollers? You're not going to get the consistency that you need in the panel. Boy, there seems to be an awful lot of R&D that goes into these products. Well, it's a continuous work in progress. We're continuously working out ways we can improve the panel and get a better shape with it. And uh, it never stops. We have a lot of people that have been here over 40 years, and we have a lot of experience on our side as well. But despite all the R&D and automation, it still comes down ultimately to the employees here when you're talking about quality control. Everyone here is responsible for quality. They're all inspectors, Stu. We're striving to produce a perfect product with zero complaints. Well, it looks great as it's coming off the line here. Now, I like the way it cuts it exactly at what, about a 12-foot length? Yes, that's what we call a flying cutoff. So the line never has to stop if you do the cutoff on it. The lengths are typically 12 to 12 and a half foot long, although we are now with a new single six, offering that in a 16 foot eight inch length as an alternative. And the length of the siding really comes into play because a longer piece is less seams on the side of a building? Yes, no question about it. You're gonna end up with less seams the longer the piece you have. And to some people that's extremely important. Okay, so once it comes down here, I can see the guys boxing it up. Where does it go from this stage? Well, as they put it in the box, everybody's inspecting it. And then all the cartons will be closed, they'll be palletized, and it'll go over to our distribution center. Well, as we saw in today's project, you know, there's roofing, there's siding, but there's also trim and gutters and soft and fascia. It's like a puzzle. The pieces of the puzzle, if you have them all from the same manufacturer, it makes for a better end result. All of these products are color coordinated, they all tie together, and they make for a nice looking finished job. Okay, so this is the siding line. What about the roofing products we're seeing on today's show? Where is that fabricated? Come on, I'll take you over the roofing building now. Well, Joe, just like the other plant we were in, there's a lot of activity going on here. Oh yeah, we're stamping out a lot of product here. This is the Edco roofing building where we stamp out the Arrowhead product line. You have two 200-ton presses. The one behind me is actually producing a slate panel. And then the one to my right over here, Stu, is producing the single shake product that we're gonna see on the job. How many different patterns do you guys produce? Essentially, we have two basic panels, the slate panel, and we have the shingle shake product. And with all the different colors that you guys offer, that's a really, gives the consumer or the end user a lot of different choices and a lot of different looks. Well, we have essentially 16, 17 basic colors, and then we do some enhancements later, which we'll show you when we go upstairs. And so as it's coming through here, you know, slate is a pretty basic color, but that's the natural beauty of slate. Some of the other ones that I saw in the coil stocks, those look pretty impressive with actual tiger striping on them. Yes, they do. We do uh, multiple of things with our product to give it that enhanced look and the real look. And when we go upstairs, you'll see more of that process and how it's done. Let's go up there and do that right now. All right. We're in the upper level of our roofing building, and you can see to my left here, a conveyor is bringing up the form product with just a single coat on it. And then we're gonna run it through a series of enhancements here by way of 40 different heads that'll spray in sync and put a different appearance on the product. Oh, this is cool. I've seen different paint booths, but those are the rotary ones. They do a fine job at a general coat. But this, to me, looks like you can get specific patterns to each shingle. There isn't another process like this in the world. This was something that was years in the developing, and we finally got it, and now we're able to market it as our enhanced product. 
So to me, this is what really sets the Edco products apart, is the attention to detail, but machinery like this. Absolutely. More and more people are choosing to go to this. They like the three-dimensional look that they get with this. We have the shadow line effect, if you will. And just overall, the enhancements that we've done to this are really what make us different. And you pointed out the shadow line. It might look a little strange in here on an individual shake or shingle panel, but to me, that is the most important aspect because everybody wants an architectural look, and what gives it that is that depth, and the shadow is what provides the depth. Absolutely. It's not how it looks as an individual shingle. It's how it looks when the job is done. And so from here, it looks like it moves into yet another oven and baking process? Now we're baking on the Kynar finish. We're baking it out about 500, 525 degrees much like we did over in the coil coating line, which we saw earlier. And then it's inspected and packaged. We'll palletize it. We'll take it to our 200,000 square foot distribution center. And from there, it will ship out all across the United States, Canada, parts of Europe, and now we're shipping product into Asia. Wow, that's amazing. So a product right here, a metal roofing product made in Minnesota is being able to be enjoyed not only throughout the US, but worldwide. Truly a product you can be proud of for a lifetime. Stick around, we'll head back out to our project next when we continue with today's Home Remodeler. Earlier in today's show, we learned the attributes of the Edco metal shingle and slate panels and saw the state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Hopkins, Minnesota. Now let's finish up with Joe Conacher from Edco Products, who explains how the installation process is essentially no different from traditional roofing products, yet provides the strength and durability to last a lifetime. Well, Joe, I gotta hand it to you. I had a great time out at your manufacturing facility. That was awesome scene. How these panels are manufactured, and especially that, that finish, it's just so authentic. And once it's installed, I assume it's gonna look just like a, a wood shake. Absolutely, and that's the thing that makes it so special and makes it so popular, that people can put this on, people will drive by in the neighborhood, don't even know that a new roof has gone on. It fits right into most residential uh, neighborhoods. Sure, and from the aesthetic standpoint, it's second to none, and from a longevity standpoint, I love that it's a forever roof. The homeowners are never gonna have to worry about it. It's time in the show now to kind of get into the installation process. And again, use this home as a backdrop. And let's just talk in general from a consumer standpoint and from a professional contractor standpoint, what's involved with installing a roof like this? Well, putting a roof like this on is quite similar to putting on an asphalt roof. If we have a contractor that's never worked with this type of material before, but he's been doing asphalt roofs for any period of time, they'll come into our training center that we have in Hopkins, so we can go out to them too and do training on the job site. But we want to spend a few hours with them just getting them up to speed on how this will go on. That is awesome, because if I'm a homeowner, yeah, I want to select the best product for my home, but I need to find a contractor that's willing to put it on, and I don't want that to be a deterrent. You're saying that any roofing contractor can contact you and get trained in the installation of this. With just a few hours of training, we can get it totally up to speed where they can be putting the product on. Now, when it comes to installing an individual panel, I've been watching the guys do it, and I, I like this process, and a lot has to do with these bends in the metal that took place back at the manufacturing facility. This shingle interlocks on all four sides and then it's anchored down to the roof with these clips that you see here. 
And these are 22 gauge clips that can either be nailed or screwed into place. When we put five clips on the shingle and we screw it into place, it has been wind tested and passed at speeds of 160 miles per hour. Wow, those are hurricane force winds and a homeowner won't have to worry about it getting underneath and ripping it off because of the interlocking nature of this product. And when I compare it to an asphalt shingle, those would fail there because those are only glued down. These are actually interlocked. The truth is in the performance. We've been manufacturing and installing these roofs for over 10 years. We have yet to lose one shingle on one roof. Well, obviously this contractor has just begun this process of replacing this roof. How long do you think it'll take them on a roof this size to complete? I would think, Stu, with a roof this size, probably three to five working days. Certainly no more than that. Yeah, and no more than a traditional asphalt shingle but these homeowners are gonna get all the benefits of a forever metal roof. Oh yeah, there's no question about it. And I'm sure while they're doing the roof here, a lot of the neighbors are gonna walk up. It'll probably lead to a few more jobs as we go on. But this product really lends itself so well to all residential type properties, the large, small, uh, ranch styles, uh, Victorian, you name it. It fits on here very, very well. In addition to the shingle shake product, we also have a slate product. So if they don't like this particular look, we can certainly put them into something like that. Sure, and if they were considering natural slate, that'd be far more costly than a slate metal roof, and you'll get the same look. Absolutely, but they won't get the Energy Star approval. Well, it's been great learning not only about the installation process, but also the manufacturing process for this incredible metal roof. It was our pleasure, Stu. Now here are some key points to help summarize today's show. Nobody likes the thought of replacing their roof, but with the Edco metal roof shingle and slate panels, at least you'll only have to do it once. As we've said time and time again, superior components lead to superior products, and the products we saw on today's show are shining examples of this. From the state-of-the-art manufacturing process to the final Kynar top coat, it's no wonder these products are expected to last a lifetime. And regardless of the roofing product you select, be sure to work with an experienced contractor. In the greater Cleveland area, contact Miller Custom Exteriors, your Edco Forever Roof dealer and professional installer. I'm Lauren Miller with Miller Custom Exteriors and we're standing here at Mennonite Mutual Insurance and looking at the new Generations HD Metal Roofing. This is a brand new product with a high definition paint system and a Kynar finish. It's Energy Star rated. You'll get the benefits of cooling in the summertime with the reflective paint coatings and of course you get the great look that you see here on the roof that we finished up. The color will maintain throughout the 40 to 50 year life term. You won't have to touch it. It's maintenance free. It's the last roof you'll ever have to buy. This is a new generations panel from ABC Roofing and Miller Custom Exteriors and you can see the high def uh, color definition with it. It's a Kynar paint finish, has two coats of clear coat on it to protect the finish. This is installed with a clip system, hidden fastener system, screws, interlocks on all four sides to withstand up to 160 mile per hour winds. We also have solid colors, enhanced colors, a slate profile. It looks great especially on the historic older homes trying to replicate that slate look. Well, we're all out of time for this week's show. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time on today's Home Remodeler. Cut. The preceding program was sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network.